one thing I'm at least mildly interested in is physical security. One tool which can be used to get through improperly installed dead latches, which are found on most doors, is a slide. I don't have one, but two years ago I scavenged some of this metal material, which is about the right kind of stuff to turn into one. But it's quite brittle. If I just bend it like this, like it doesn't break going into that, but coming back out it does. That's a little bit more brittle than I want. So in order to make this slide, I'm going to heat it up. Heating it up also allows me to bend it into the exact shape I want, rather than really struggling with it. Now that I've let this cool, I'm going to nip it off at an angle. This angle will help the sliding action. And then I'm going to file down any kind of sharp areas because I don't want to cut myself on it when I'm using it. This probably won't come across very well on video because of the confined space, but this is a locked door. I can't open it. And yes, I do have this here, but that's only because of just the geometry of the door and where a slide can be used, um, which is when the dead latch or the dead latch is not facing you, that the door opens towards you. Um, so normally when this door is shut, it, the latch part of the dead latch is on the strike plate being held back. Um, which means that the sliding won't work. But if I give an extra push, I can get it to go in. I think it's in right now. Yeah. And then sliding will work because that latch part senses whether the door is closed if it's installed properly, which this isn't quite. And um, if the door is closed when installed properly, it will prevent sliding from occurring. there it's open even though the door was locked and this is a door to our house um, so I would never do this on a door that I didn't actually have access to but I have found the techniques of sliding to sometimes be useful 
um, on doors where I technically should have access to, but for some reason or another, I don't have a key. Um, and even though I've never had a proper slide before, the knowledge and techniques from this have allowed me to occasionally access a door where I should have access to, but I don't have the key at that particular moment. So um, this slide has a fairly aggressive angle, which I'm not so sure I'd like. I'll have to practice some more um, in a fairly short um, end here. For just a normal door without an anti-sliding plate, um, this short end I think is actually good. and In some ways I'd be okay with a shorter one. Um, this aggressive angle, the reason I have the aggressive angle in these dimensions is this is quite similar to um, the slide of the person who I learned the technique from. Uh, I'm not really sure if the aggressive angle is what I want, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be too bad. I was able to do this door, and this is by far a, not a super easy door. This came apart a little bit, but I was able to bend it back, and so it's may not perfect, but I have plenty more of the material that this came from, so if I want to make another design, it'll be pretty easy to, for me to whip one up. It doesn't take that long. And it's not like I'm ever likely to have this with me when I need to use it. So this isn't like an actual functional project, just a fun one. And just seeing if I can do it and if the whole process works.